Washington Square here in New York is one of the most historic and popular public spaces in the city. It's always drawn a lot of musicians, from folkies to jazz groups to rappers, but none quite like the man you are about to meet. Michelle Miller is here with his story. Good morning, Michelle. And good morning. Well, living in New York City, you'd think you would have seen just about everything. That is until you see something totally unexpected. And in this case, hearing is believing. In New York City, there are street performers. And then there's Colin Huggins, a classically trained pianist who loves playing to a crowd. We met Huggins in Washington Square Park as his tuner finished up his $400 a month routine. So he tunes for an hour every time you come out here? Yeah, it takes, uh, you know, about an hour if, if, if you really know what you're doing. Because perfection is key when introducing the classics to an audience more in tune with hip hop and pop music. It makes people feel like they're walking into a scene from a movie or something like this. People are impressed. I mean, this is impressive. Yeah, I think part of street performing is, is creating a little bit of a spectacle. It's, it can't, you can't be doing uh, something too average and expect people to give you lots of attention. But nothing grabs attention more than a baby grand in the park. That's a big, a heavy big thing. I know, all I, all I have to carry is my guitar. <laughs> I want to play. Yeah, and I was carrying it halfway. <laughs> every weekend and every day during the summer, Colin and Buddy Vinnie Longo wheel out the 650-pound behemoth from a storage space in Greenwich Village. They dodge traffic and a few gawkers for 10 blocks, snow or shine. Rain isn't an option, and neither are multiple locations. I used to play all over Manhattan. I used to bring pianos all over Manhattan. Uh, but uh, I got a little tired of pushing more than I was playing. And that gets old. Yeah, yeah. The pushing isn't really the, the fun part. Why do you do this? Um, it ain't easy. No. Bringing no. a piano to Washington Square Park from the mini storage facility. Yeah. Well, it's not too tough for me because maybe you didn't <laughs> see this. A former music director with the Joffrey Ballet, this is how Huggins now makes what he calls a modest living. It's so much better than sitting in an office and, you know, uh, wasting away under flu fluorescent lights. But connecting with Huggins doesn't always mean understanding him. Just ask Alec Baldwin, a huge fan. Yeah, but I don't think good. anyone gets Colin, <laughs> which is part of Colin's mystery and his allure and his legend, is that he's ungettable. And we, but we keep coming back hoping that one day we will get Colin. In the meantime, we're going to settle for Colin's music. I'm going to tell you all the time through the song that's playing. Not only has Colin arranged his own tunes, I really like this. He can play anything by ear. And while he fits the bill, there's one song he says he'll never play. Sing us a song, you're the piano. Oh, just, I'm not going to go not, not there. That one, I'm please. Gonna, okay, how about this? How about this? <laughs> now, <laughs> Huggins, you know, he, he refers to himself as that crazy piano guy, but, you know, man, he does not include in that. And, <laughs> and you know, I asked him, you know, how is it you would give up, you know, a steady gig with the Joffrey Ballet and American Ballet Theater? And he said, you know, he said, when I started to think of myself as Gollum and referring <laughs> to my piano as my precious, I I knew it was time to go. He's unbelievable. This is a great story, Michelle. Thanks so much for bringing Glad it to Glad to us. bring Love it to you.